Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ariel and I create mommy content as well as lifestyle, travel, and beauty videos. But today I'm going to be filming my 24 week pregnancy update and that number is just blowing my mind because that means that we are officially six months pregnant. When I found out with my first pregnancy, we were actually 26 weeks pregnant, so we haven't even reached that point yet. But I feel like so much has changed from the day we found out until now. And I'm so excited to say my cravings have completely shifted. I am no longer craving junk food or sweets. Actually, the thought of sweets now grosses me out. When I have too much sugar, I always get groggy and I just feel like I need to take a nap immediately and I just have a, I'm in a bad mood for at least an hour. And now all I want is fruit and potatoes, and potatoes in any form. I mean, if it's french fries, potato salad, mashed potatoes, that's all I want. And I'm pretty sure that's because my appetite is just increasing and those carbs just sound like heaven to me. When I was pregnant with Jackson, mashed potatoes was my number one thing. I wanted it every day, and it seems to be going the same with this one. Another weird thing that I've noticed is that my gums have been bleeding a lot. I did a quick little Google search on this and they said that this is normal and that it's also normal to form gingivitis during a pregnancy just because your hormones are changing your uh, bacteria in your mouth and stuff like that. So it is super important to go and get a checkup, which I have gotten mine already. Essentially, my dentist told me to try gargling with salt water and maybe that will help the bleeding stop. But really, every time I floss or brush my teeth, I've noticed my gums start to bleed. I have been having some really bad lower back pain, and I'm assuming it's just from all the kicks and movement and the added pressure of baby. I've also noticed that when, now when I go to sleep at night, I've been sleeping so deep. I've been having the most bizarre and vivid dreams. But really, when I wake up, I feel like I'm awaking from the dead. I'm just having the deepest sleep and I know I'm gonna miss sleeping so much once this baby's here. And I'm also so happy to say that my acne is pretty much completely gone. Um, I pretty much just have scars left, which I'm dealing with, and I've had acne before as a teenager, so that's nothing new to me. But if you guys would like a video on how I cured my pregnancy acne, just let me know and I'd love to do one for you. And right now from baby girl, I am getting a ton of movement, and to me that's just the most special thing. Her kicks are getting stronger and stronger. Sean still hasn't felt it. We feel that she kind of plays a game with him. So every time he does put his hand on my belly, she completely stops moving. To me, it's funny, but I think he gets a little mad about it. But I feel her all day long, all night long as well. And her kicks are already making me pee about 20 times a day. Every day, Jax is talking more and more about his baby sister. Every time I put him down to take a nap, he has to kiss my belly and to me that's just the sweetest thing in the world that he already has so much love for her. He talks about her all the time saying how he wants to teach her hide and seek and he wants to teach her about all the Avengers and it's just adorable to me. I just cannot wait for them to meet and have that bond. I'm super excited to show you guys my bump this week because I do feel like I've grown a lot within the last two weeks. Not only has my clothes been fitting me way differently, I can just feel that pressure on my back as well. And every time I do get a glimpse of myself in the mirror, to me it just looks bigger and bigger throughout the day. Prior to this week, I was just wearing maternity leggings and regular shirts, but now I feel like I need to wear maternity shirts as well because every time I sit down and stand up, my belly ends up showing from the bottom of my shirt, which annoys me so much, but at the same time, I love it. So here's a little glimpse of my belly. We haven't done anything as far as her room yet because we are thinking about moving. Right now we have a three bedroom house so the baby does take away our guest bedroom, which I'm fine with. It's just that my parents do sleep over a lot. So I don't really want to go through the process of decorating her room into a nursery and then we're moving immediately. So we're gonna wait a little bit on that. However, we have bought her a lot of clothes or I should say Sean has bought her a lot of clothes 
The amount of onesies that he bought that says daddy's girl is absolutely precious to me. And I have a feeling she would be a daddy's girl just because Jackson is so obsessed with him. So we'll just have to see. But that's it for this week's updates. I just wanted to keep it short and simple. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe. It means so much to me. And I'll be back next Thursday with another video. Talk to you guys soon.